Hi guys, it's Nancy, and as you can see, we're going to play with the go pressing foil. The go pressing foil to turn this on, you're going to plug in the power cord. There are no other switches, but you do need to turn this one on. So when you plug it in, it's just going to be red like that, and then you're going to push the power button and it'll start blinking. And when it is hot enough, it will turn green. I have that new beautiful paper tray ink hot foil plate in here. So, oh, just turned green because it's been blinking for a few minutes. And I've already pre-cut some 250 GSM foiling paper from Crafty Krita. And I will put the links down below for you guys. I do also have a link for the paper tray ink Fallen Leaves um, hot foil stamp. But that is sold out right now. But I will put that link for you guys so you can keep checking up. And I'm also going to use some Crafty Krita hot foil. So I've already pre-cut these three colors. This one is called Midas Touch. And we're going to put that on here. Pretty side down and a piece of the Crafty Krita paper. Now I know with my Go Press and Foil, I always have to shim this, okay? And yes, we're gonna practice foiling the waist too. So I have some extra, these are um, cardstock pieces from different stamp shows that I've gone to and so on. So I have two of these I'm gonna put in as my shim and we're just gonna let that sit for a little bit. The other pieces that I cut are, so that one was Midas Touch Hot Foil um, 13, the one that's in there now. I've also cut Gold Dust, which is this one here, and that's Hot Foil 15, and that's Hot Foil, so those are meant to be used in the Go Press and Foil, the Gemini Foil Press, or the Spellbinders Glimmer. And I cut a piece of Golden Mirage, which is this holographic gold. The other thing I liked about these rolls is normally when I cut my hot foil, let me just show you here. So here is a hot foil spellbinders roll. You can see how much longer it is, a little bit longer. And when I go across a foiling plate, I normally have to pull this across this way to go across a foiling plate. Well, because Crafty Krita rolls are so much longer, I can get that same amount of foil by going this way. And so I, I use a lot less foil instead of pulling it long ways, if that makes sense. So you're using it horizontally instead of vertically. So you save a little bit on your foil by having these bigger rolls, in my opinion. Okay. All right, this is matte gold. We'll see if we have time to play with that one in a minute. Okay, I already did a previous video showing how to use the waste foil. Um, I also have this big plate that you can buy with the Go Press and Foil as an embossing plate, but I've used the waste foil on this. So we're not gonna show that today, but what I do wanna show you um, is maybe using the Pink Fresh and the Waffle Flower, because I didn't show those on my video the other day. And someone asked me to do a video um, with the Aaron Lee High. Um, I'm not gonna use the Aaron Lee Solid Plate. That just, that plate takes a lot of work. It needs a lot of shims, so you're just gonna have to play with that one. Um, honestly, for the price of the Pink Fresh Studio Plate right now, it's $20. I would just buy that one. Um, but let's see what we can do here. So this has been warming up long enough. It keeps blinking from green to red, so we're gonna undock this. This also has little feet suction cupped that are stuck to the, <laughs> they're stuck to my Tim Holtz mat. So there's little suction feet on here, which is nice. It makes it easier to undock it when you do that. Okay, so we're gonna bring our platinum in. This is the Spellbinder Platinum. And we're gonna roll this through. And again, at this point, I'm using the Crafty Krita 250 GSM Crafty Krita foil and two paper shims for the leaf. So we'll see how that foils before we go into waste foiling. So we'll do a couple of sheets before we go waste foiling. So I just went through one time. It didn't feel like there was a lot of resistance. So I might need to add another shim. 
that's the only downside to this machine is it does require a lot of shims. Okay, so you want to let this cool down. Oh, it did press through before you reveal it. You pressed all the way through. It stuck to the paper a little bit. That's okay. Let's see how it did. I see we have some underfoiling. See that? I really can't. Well, it's not too bad. Just this corner. So it's really not too bad. This corner, it didn't really foil that well. So maybe running it through twice, but I don't think it needs another shim. There's the little miss spot right there. Everything else looks great. Man, that foil is stunning. We're going to save that piece because we are going to do some negative foiling. So let's try that again. This time we're going to use the solid gold. And I'm going to just turn the plate at an angle. Just like that. And another piece of Crafty Krita paper. And again, this is the 250 GSM. They also have 200. I like the thicker cardstock, my personal preference. All right. Put my two shims in there. I'm going to give that just a moment to warm up, and I think I'll run it through twice. Um, I'm going to cut a piece of this matte foil, too. So normally, again, if you were using a Spellbinders roll or another smaller roll of foil, you would cut this way. But because these rolls are so wide, I can get more foil, and I save about an inch by doing it that way. So I think that's ready to go. I'm going to take it off. I do like the Go Press and Foil is hinged, so you don't really have any shifting of the dies. I'm going to go back and run this through twice so that we have it pressed twice. And you do want to kind of take your time. Now I have a little bit of bouncing with this. That's just based on the die cutting machine. You can change to a different die cutting machine if that will help you. But really the secret is just to go slow. So let's see what this one looks like. Definitely got enough pressure. I'm just going to keep going through here. This is the matte gold. And I'm just feeling for the edges of the plate to make sure my paper is lined up properly. So there's no um, temperature changing. There's no timer changing on the Go Press and Foil. It just goes from red to green. And you just kind of keep an eye on it. But leaving that on there for about a minute, I am going to do the temperature on it because someone did ask me that. So let's reveal this one. So pretty. And this is the holographic gold. I just dropped the package. I can't find the packaging. I think that one's called Midas Touch. Nope. Gold Galaxy. Hold up. Where did I put the... Here it is. Saw it. Golden Mirage is this one. The first one was Midas Touch. Okay, here we go. Let it cool. Feel. 
Okay, and that one came out perfectly. So just by shifting the plate a little bit and letting it cool down, they came out really good. And we're gonna foil these waist foils. Okay, let's check this third one, which is the matte gold. It feels like it's ready to go. And again, I'm just gonna take my time and roll it through once. and then roll it back very slowly. Take my time, there is some bouncing going on, just going very slow. Okay, and then the last one we're gonna do is, let me check the temperature on this thing while it's hot. Got up to 190. So I'm gonna write that down on my little temperature thing here. I knew it was gonna be hot because I knew it was close to the, the highest point because that's when it works. So go press and foil 190 degrees. So the glimmer, now this is the old glimmer. I haven't done the new one. The old glimmer was 244. The foil press was 173, 183, and 200, low, medium, high. And the go press and foil is not 190. So you got to be over that to use some of these hotter um, foils. Okay, so let's put on, what's this one? Gold, gold dust. Very pretty. Okay, we're gonna let that one warm up. Let's reveal this guy. This is the matte gold. That's beautiful, and that is perfect for this time of year. Beautiful. Not too in your face, but definitely have some beautiful colors going on and then we have the last one going and then we will do um hot foil solid hot foil plates and see how they do so we have um Midas Touch is the first one Golden Mirage was the one I just showed you guys a second ago matte gold and gold dust so these are the four different kinds of golds that I've just shown you guys um, oh, and we need to do the, the Erin Lee hot foil. So she has a hot foil high and a hot foil dye. And they're not nestle necessarily designed to go together. They are exactly the same size, but you could use them. You could use the high to cut out the high if you wanted to. Okay, so let's do our last or fallen leaves panel here and again I am going to run it through twice now if you are getting under foiling which happens a lot on this machine that usually means you don't have enough pressure so you want to continue to add shims it also could mean that you don't have enough heat so if you are getting under foiling leave it on the heat longer and add an extra shim if you are getting over foiling, you have the opposite problem. And over foiling means there's foil everywhere you don't want it. And over foiling means you have too much pressure um, going on, so you need to remove some of those shims. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take this plate off of here. Let that cool 
pull down. I'm going to put the Aaron Lee plate on. I'm going to let that warm up a minute. And I'm going to use Gold Galaxy on that. Gold stars. Very pretty. So again, you can see it's blinking red. That means it's not up to temperature yet. So we have our dye in there warming up. I always like to let my dyes go in there and cook for a few minutes. And then we're going to put our paper. Let me check the temperature here. See, now it's over to, well, it's going down. So right around 200, because it was 190 before. Okay. Let's reveal this one. This one's my favorite. It's so pretty and sparkly. Gold dust. Wow, does that sparkle. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's like having a disco ball in my room. That is gorgeous. So much shine and glitter. That's beautiful. Okay, so we have four beautiful foil plates here, foil panels that I can ink blend, I can um, color with markers. Gorgeous. Okay, stunning. Okay, now, once that high is done, we're gonna do these on the solid hot foil plates. We'll do each of the different solid hot foil plates and see how they do. If you missed the test I did the other day, I did it on the Glimmer, but I also did it on the foil press and it did fine on the foil press. I didn't record the foil press, um, but I, did, I do tell you how I did it on the foil press, but I did it on the Glimmer machine the other day live. So I'll put that link down below for you guys. Okay, I believe our high is hot enough. And again, I'm going to run it through slowly once and then back again. And just because I want to make sure I have it done right, I'm going to do it two more times. Just taking my time. I can feel it bouncing over the die the hot foil stamp. Okay, let's see how it did. Okay. And I would say that's perfectly done. So by using the 250 GSM, this, this paper has some kind of a smooth coating on it, very similar to Hamilco paper in the US. If you don't have Hamilco, it's in my Amazon shop. It's very similar to the semi-gloss Hamilco. Um, so this is, a, this is a thicker, I would say a hundred pound weight of Hamilco. And then I have, again, two, this is just, these are junk mail, um, things that I got from the stamp show and I just have two of these. So these are about, these are little, maybe maybe 110 pound shims. And then I use them a few times and when they start to get indented and all foiled, then I throw them out. But um, you know, it's, it's not going to waste by using them as a shim. So that actually foiled really nice. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so let's take this off and go with a solid hot foil plate. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is the one that came with this embossing set. So this is actually designed for the go press and foil. This is designed to, uh, for, for the foil and cut dies because this doubles as you can foil and cut, but I'm going to use it as a hot foil plate. It's the go press and foil brand plate. Again, I'll link it down below for you guys. 
We're going to let that, it's going to take a minute to warm up and we're going to use these leftover pieces of foil that we have. So we'll start with this very first one, which was the Golden Mirage. Golden Mirage, which is this holographic one. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, and we need this to be very hot, so it's gonna take a minute for this plate to get fully hot. And you can see it covers almost, in terms of a hot foil plate, this covers the whole thing. But we're gonna put that foil down, pretty side down, because we want this side, the ugly side, this is adhesive. And this adhesive, um, it warms up and it sticks to your paper. So we're gonna use our Crafty Credit paper again. I'm gonna line that up with the edges of our foil. We can see where the designs are. And then we're gonna put our shims on there, cover that up, and just let that warm up. If you are new to hot foiling, I have several videos using the Gemini Foil Press, using the um, Spellbinders Glimmer, using the Go Press and Foil. I had the Go Press and Foil previously. It's come back into my life um, because so many of you have requested it. I also do toner foiling. So toner foiling would be with the Mink Machine or a Laminator. They are two different foiling systems. If you're not sure about the difference, um, even though they're both foiling systems, they actually work with two different types of machines, two different purposes. Hot foiling is specifically for machines with hot foil dyes. So again, the Gemini um, foil press, the Go Press and Foil, the Spellbinders Glimmer, or if you are in the UK, you might even have the Toto machine. Um, that does hot foiling. Uh, the We Are Memory Keepers Foil Quill, that is considered hot foiling. So those are all of the um, hot foil machines. You do not want to mix up your toner foils, or also known as textile foils, deco foils. You do not want to mix those up with your hot foils. As you can see, I keep all of mine in their bags. Um, this keeps them free from dust and scratches. You want to protect these. They're very delicate surfaces and store them in their bags. All right, so I think that's hot enough now. We'll flip over to that in a second. Is this big enough to cut another one? Yes, we'll leave that out. We'll do that later. Okay, so let's bring our die cutting system in. Now, this will work with the Spellbinders Platinum Machine. It'll work with the Big Shot, Big Kick, um, the Switch, the Vagabond. It will not work with the Gemini or Gemini Junior machines. And I don't believe there is any system that works with the Foiling Empress. I mean, the Anna Griffin Empress. I'm the Foiling Empress. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to run this through once. I didn't take any of the shims or anything out. And then back again twice. Because we are foiling the negative, we want as much heat and pressure as we can get. We want it to overfoil. We want every piece of that foil to come off of that transfer sheet. Okay, this is what we want. We want it to be as fully covered as we can get. I'm going to take this guy off. It is very hot, by the way. You should be using your tongs and things. Okay, now I'm going to move over to the Pink Fresh Solid Plate. Okay, and on the pink fresh solid plate, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take a piece of our foil. So this is the Midas Touch. Pretty side down. We're gonna take a piece of our cardstock. Line that up. Okay, and since this shim has been nicely used. I'm going to grab two other shims. And again, because we're using a new plate, we're going to let that heat up for a minute or two. We 
have to be patient when it comes to foiling. You cannot rush yourself when it comes to that. Okay, this is using the Go Press and Foil die cutting plate. That's what that is, die cutting plate. Let's see how we do here. Now, here's the great thing. If this doesn't completely transfer, I can put it back on and add more shims and keep working with it until it transfers. So I can already see some of that foil is not fully transferred. So I'm gonna not reveal any more. It's 90% transferred, but there's still some areas that didn't. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Actually, you could do a grungy look with this and it wouldn't really matter. So we're gonna leave this alone and I'm gonna add a third shim because I think we're gonna need that extra shim. So before we reveal this one, I've added three shims while that one warms up. So the whole point here, again, is to get over foiling. And then this one we will do with the waffle flower plate. Now that one's ready to go. Okay, I'm just waiting for my light to go from re blinking red to green. And that green is going to basically say, hey, I'm up to temperature. I'm ready to go here. And it, see, it's ready to go. So now, let's see if we get, now this is with three shims. So for the solid waste foiling, this is the Pink Fresh Studio Plate. And I'm using three shims. And again, I'm going to roll it through a couple of times here because I want as much pressure and heat as I can get to transfer that foil over. The other one was about 90%. I need a little bit more heat and pressure here. So I'm gonna keep going here. Now, if it gets to the point where you cannot press it through, then you have too many shims. Here, I can feel it's tight, but it's going through no problem. So if it gets to the point where you can't push this through, don't force it. You don't wanna break your machine. Okay, so while I take this one off, shims are all sticking together now and I want to be careful because I do want this to I want that to cool before I remove it where's the one that didn't go all the way through okay so this one I'm gonna run this one through again and we're gonna do three shims so here's the two old shims and one more so we're gonna try that one again These are all laser printed, so they're sticking together as they get heated. It's not a big deal. But just so you guys know, why is it sticking? It's because of that. They're basically gluing themselves together with the heat. I may not be able to reveal this one. Let's see here. Well, three shims work perfectly. That's what you want. You want that to come away clean Three shims seems to be the secret on here using the solid plates. I will have to cut this off later. I do not want to mess with that. Let's see here. I don't want to ruin it. It's so pretty. There we go. Just had to let it cool down. Take this off later but I don't want to ruin it right now so we're just gonna cut it with the trimmer and we'll come back and clean it up later when I put my cards together but as far as 
doing the waste foil on it. It's great. Okay, that looks good. Don't worry, I have plenty of these shims. I saved them. Okay, so this one says it's hot enough. This is the one we're correcting because we didn't have enough shims. So we're refoiling it. Take my time and roll it through, forward and then back. You can see it and hear it jumping. Again, it doesn't affect anything, just take your time. Okay, and then we're gonna do the last one with the waffle flour plate. So we're gonna take this off. waffle flour plate on here to warm up and again if you watch my video live that I did I said that both of these plates foiled exceptionally well I don't think that you need to prefer to buy one over the other shims again. One, two, buckle my shoe. Okay, three shims on this one. Give this a minute to cool down. Oh, flew right off. That's good. Perfect. Pretty good. Pretty good. Got all these beautiful panels I can make in the cards now. So we're just letting that last one heat up. I'm going to heat this up from the back side, and then once it's warm, I'll be able to peel it off. So these are all the things we foiled today. We did the fallen leaves hot foil plate from Paper Tray Ink. This did sell out, but I will put the link down below if you want to sign up for their notify me list. I think it's a beautiful plate for this time of year. You can see we got some beautiful foiled panels, and it did well in the foil press. It did well in the glimmer. And then we have our waste foiling. We have one more coming, and then we did the... Um, Aaron Lee High, which foiled fine. And again, I used Crafty Krita 250 GSM Specialty DIY foiling paper because it really does work well, you guys. I would definitely recommend trying it out. And I am using Crafty Krita Hot Foils. Now, if you're looking for a sale, because I know that it's kind of expensive when they ship from Australia to the U.S., I may have something special coming up this weekend. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and following me. And I'll have a special discount for you this weekend towards Crafty Krita products. So keep an eye out on my channel, subscribe. And when you see me go live or post a video, make sure you watch. Because there's definitely going to be a little bit of a Crafty Krita discount for you guys. Which will help offset some of that cost of... Um, shipping and if you don't want to wait our normal discount code is FSC05 which is Foiling Snobs Club FSC05 for 5% discount but I think you're going to want to keep an eye on my channel this weekend probably Saturday night and we'll have an additional discount so if you're interested in the Crafty Krita DIY toner paper or you're interested in the Crafty Krita toner foils or Crafty Krita hot foils you're going to want to watch my channel this Saturday so I'm going to reveal this one to you guys. And if you have any questions on any type of foiling, whether it's with the Go Press, the Foil Press, the Glimmer, or Toner Foiling with the Mink or the Laminator, you can join our group, the Foiling Snobs Club, on Facebook. Make sure you answer all the questions when you apply. 
and we have a lot of people there that will help you out. We have over 4,600 members, and we'll help you out with the foiling. Okay, so this is the waffle flour plate, which is a little bit larger plate. We're going to take all of our shims off here. I'm going to give this a second to cool down. This might have stuck on there, too, because I used the printed side instead of the white side. I'm just going to reveal this and then I'll heat it up and I'll remove it off of the from, with the heat. There we go. I'm going to let that go. I'll fix it in a minute. Okay, here we go. And that also pretty good that one little spot right there which I'm not worried about I can put that back in recover it and reheat it and let that go but you guys get the idea we got beautiful foiling through the plate we got beautiful foiling on the negative foil for my viewer who asked for the Aaron Lee high on the foil press there it is and here we go if you have any questions post them down below if you're interested in doing any shopping for any of the products i'll put the links down below thanks for watching guys and keep on foiling bye